But that's all a moot point because we're ready to go racing. You'll see them snake through the pit lane here. Will that be a, uh, a hot spot? It typically is here. And watch for the third car back. You see that orange, blue, and white car. Rosenquist, Felix Rosenquist, was really racy in morning warm-up. Ready to go in front of a big crowd in Toronto. The Honda Indy Toronto is underway. And Felix Rosenquist was not going to expose himself to any competition and challenge. He took off from Scott McLaughlin. And look at Scott Dixon making big progress down the inside. He's up into, I believe, fourth place now. Great start. It was a huge jump, though, from the pole sitter Christian Lundgaard, fifth for Dixon, sorry, side by side behind, but a caution's already out. Damage at the back, somebody came together. Oh, more than a somebody. Look how many cars have come together. And Graham Rahal is saying, I don't want any part of this. He's going to try and go through the Prince's Gate and around. Clever, and clever clear move. This Benjamin all. Peterson involved, Santino Ferrucci also, and look at Graham yeah, Rahal. You're doing here. Good job. Let's go through the gate. This is what 16 years of experience at Toronto can do for you. Super heads up from Graham. He saw gone. Ryan Hunter Ray was a Involved. Tom Blomquist, the oh. 60, in his first ever IndyCar race. Jack, Jack Harvey, Harvey, Ryan Hunter Ray. Let's do <laughs> hey, it again. Echo. Echo. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it looks like pretty bad damage to the 30 there of Jack Harvey. That's the, this car at the top left, the blue car with the hub sponsorship on the rear wing. Hunter Ray backwards on the racetrack, and Indy. a huge shame for Alex Rossi as well. IndyCar will have to slow the field as much as they can behind the pace car, potentially take the entire field through the runoff that Graham Rahal just took in turn one. We understand that is the call from race control. They'll take the overshoot here as the AMR safety team continues to clean things up. And as a driver, James, you know, this is where you beg, you scream, you plead to be the first one to get restarted. It's the easiest pass you could ever make from the back of the field. Yeah, there's a system and a protocol in place for the AMR safety team on how they move cars, how they start cars, and get everyone up and running. Most of those cars not damaged enough to be terminal, unfortunately, as you see Jack Harvey climbing out. The number 30 RLL machine is terminally damaged. Ugh, the hub Honda. And unfortunately, all these cars going a lap down now. Let's see if we can take a look. You see Hunter Ray is three wide and the red and white car of Devlin DeFrancesco, I believe, got into the back of Ryan Hunter Ray, who was in the middle of Jack Harvey. It looked more to me like Jack Harvey got a little bit wide, pushed Hunt Ryan Hunter Ray into, it was Tom Blomquist who was all the way on the outside of that three wide situation. Jack would have no idea there were two cars outside of him when he got into the side of the 20. Here's on board from Rossi. Yeah, so if we see the long shot again, you'll see the back of Hunter Ray's car got hit by DeFrancesco. You might see it here. On board with Graham Ray Hall. So Ray Hall just noses into right. Benjamin Peterson, but was able to keep his Honda rolling. And look at this. Man, that's heads up. That was so fast to engage reverse. Make ha He already had that plan in place. He had to watch out for the AMR safety trucks coming up behind him. This is a pretty atypical scene here in turn one at an IndyCar race, but very heads up from Graham Rahal. So this is what I'm talking about again. Watch. Uh, let's just pause it right there. If you watch Ryan Hunter Ray's car, I think he gets contact here with Jack Harvey. I'm not sure if DeFrancesco got him back of him or if it's side-by-side -side contact I, with Harvey. I think it's side-by-side -side with Harvey. Harvey there not giving enough room for three cars. Fair play. He doesn't know probably that Tom Blomquist is all the way to the outside of Ryan Hunter Ray, and it's just a function of three cars trying to fit through a space only big enough for two. Alex Rossi nowhere to go into the back of the 20bitnile.com machine. Oh, Tom Blomquist was not expecting this for his first NTT IndyCar Series race. The IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship champion and star. You're right. Yeah. James, uh, he just gets pushed wide by Harvey, does Hunter Ray. If anything, Devlin has an incredible job yes. getting around that. Stingray Rob locks up the brakes as well, trying to sneak through. And Blomquist just... I mean, he's staying in the car, trying to be asked to be started, but take a look at that left front. That car yeah. should not be driven right now. Tough, tough introduction to IndyCar for the rookie. Seven cars involved in that lap one, turn one incident. What a shame. AMR safety team will get it cleaned up. We'll go back racing here in Toronto.
Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.